Welcome to Retro Crisis. In this video, I'll show you how to install Steam on your Arch Linux system. First step, let's go to the Discover Software Center in the bottom corner and open it. And then in the search box, type in Steam and press enter. And then here you should see Steam. So let's crack it open. So we have Steam, Valve Corporation, and then we click on Install from FlatHub. And once it's finished downloading, we can close this window and then go to the application launcher. I notice Steam appears under the games and internet categories. I'm guessing both of these shortcuts point to the same application, but if anybody knows why this is happening, please let me know in the comments. But to continue opening Steam, I just go to games and then click on the Steam app. Now, the first time you load up Steam, it does take a little while. I'm guessing the first time you load it up, it's actually downloading important files in the background but on subsequent loads, it's significantly quicker. And then once all the processing has finished, you should see the Steam login screen. And now you can punch in your Steam credentials. The next thing we need to do is go to the Steam button in the top left corner, go to settings, and then click on the compatibility tab. Now, for the most part, the majority of games on Steam are designed for Windows. However, Steam uses something called Proton. So somehow or another, Proton is able to translate Windows instructions into Linux instructions. But either way, Proton is pretty incredible. I've been using it for a long time on my Steam Deck, and somehow it makes the majority of my Windows library of games work perfectly fine on Linux. But please Please don't misunderstand, there are still a few games that just don't work on Linux. The majority of these tend to be online multiplayer games like Fortnite and other similar titles. Thankfully for me, I really don't care about online games, so this doesn't bother me so much. Now on this screen, we're able to choose which version of Proton would like to run for our Steam library. So the default Proton that's been selected here is Proton Experimental. Now there might be a scenario where 99% of your games will run perfectly fine with whichever version of Proton you decide to go with. But there might be that one game that just does not work well with that version of Proton. It's possible on a per game basis to change which version of Proton is being used. All you need to do is go to your game library, right click on the game, go to properties, and then go to compatibility. And then here you'll see force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. You need to check this box, and then on this drop down, you can select which version of Proton you'd like to use for that specific game. If you'd like to learn more about which version of Proton works well with a specific game, go to ProtonDB.com, type in the name of your game, and various members of the community share their best experiences with which version of Proton they've used with a specific game. I've been using the Steam Deck more or less since it first launched. I very rarely need to move away from Proton Experimental, but feel free to choose whichever version works best for you. Right, so the next step is to install a game of your choice. For this video, I'll be installing Sonic Mania, purely because it's a very small file size, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Great, so once the game has finished downloading, hit the play button. Right, so what you're looking at here is me playing Sonic Mania, which is a Windows game for Steam, and it's running on Arch Linux. And I'm currently using my 8-bit do Bluetooth controller. And the final thing I'd like to show you is the folder where your Steam apps are installed to. And you can find it by going to Dolphin File Manager. And then in the address bar at the top, type in forward slash home forward slash your username. So in my case, it's RC forward slash dot VAR forward slash app and then press enter. And here you can see a list of some of the apps that have been installed onto your computer. This one here, which says valve software dot Steam is your Steam app. So let's open it and then go to data and Steam. And much like Windows, if you go down to Steam apps and then common. Now this is the folder where all of your games will be installed to as well as any other runtimes. So for example, Proton Experimental is installed here too. So if we go into Sonic Mania, for example, and you'll notice the Sonic Mania Windows file here. Say, for example, you don't want to type in that long address each and every time. It's entirely possible to save this folder to your places menu. And you can do that by right clicking in an empty space and then going to add to places. And then you'll see it appear here on the left. Now, the word common doesn't really mean very much, so I'm going to rename it. So I'll right click on it, go to edit. So the only thing you need to edit is the label. Make sure you don't touch the location area. So I'll change it to Steam 
apps and then OK. So now if I go to home or somewhere else and I want to check my Steam apps, I can just click that link there. Anyway, I hope you found this video very useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.